Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So I know my voice is a little bit raspy. I have had a cold now for about five days and you know just wanted to get back on here, update you guys on what's been going on and that's what has been happening. I've had a cold, I've been trying to get over it and um, also apart from that like i really wanted to just have like four weeks of not thinking about what happened not thinking about you know the surgery what the doctors told me and any of that and of course you know i wanted to see when i felt comfortable so i can tell you guys more in depth about that situation so that, you know, if anyone out there experiences any sort of symptoms like I did, then you guys are able to pinpoint, oh, you know, I need to go to the doctor, I need to get a certain test, and it could be this, right? But I'm going to share with you guys um, some of the symptoms. I think I did in a previous video, but I'm going to, that's going to be in the, the next video just the video about symptoms so you guys can be really aware about what it feels like and what it was like <sighs> yeah i'm not feeling too well but i still wanted to get on here with you guys and you know just share a little bit about what's been happening the last couple of days so basically i and this this is something totally different relating to my cold I basically started to have like a lot of pain, like body ache, um, ear pain, headache, and sore throat. Um, I did get tested for flus and COVID. I don't have flu or COVID. Um, I went to the doctor uh, recently and they said it was actually a an infection, an ear infection. So I have an ear infection on both. And the, the strangest thing happened, seriously. It's a spontaneous eardrum rupture. So there were two days, guys. Um, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday and that previous day where the pain that I had in my ear over my ear just like the whole thing and then sometimes this one was so excruciating that i felt like wow this is bringing me back to when i had contractions and when i was giving birth to a baby that's how strong the pain was and i was on ibuprofen and it was intense and then sometimes i would feel better it would come and go but at nighttime, oh my god so when I went to the emergency room, they told me that's what it was. It's a, the ear, eardrum rupture, spontaneous. And she asked me like if I had fallen or anything like that. I'm like, no. And so it just happened spontaneously, <sighs> which is crazy. So it's like, here I am, guys. I wanted to get these four weeks off of not thinking about the surgery or about you know what the doctors told me you know relating to the journey you guys know about and then here I am I guess sick today is day five of being sick and I get this ear infection the eardrum rupture and I found a very important message in this and this that happened to me and that is of taking advantage of each moment and each day because I don't know I don't want to say that we're prone to being sick or something happening unexpectedly but when you use your time and you, you're living moment to moment and you use your time wisely and actively and in all ways not just in one area like you'll be better off because you don't know when is the day that you're going to get sick. You don't know when is the day that you're going to have pain. And, oh my God, when you have pain because you're sick, that, that pain is just, like, horrible. 
so i encourage you today guys and i encourage myself like let's use our time wisely let's use all of our time in all the different departments that we have in our lives why and when every day <laughs> every moment because when we have moments of pain then we won't be any good or any any use we won't have any use for those things that we need to get done because then it no longer becomes about what you have to get done it becomes about healing and feeling better because there's nothing worse than having extreme pain it is just absolutely and remarkably <laughs> terrible <laughs> so I, I don't even know how my voice sounds right now, but I really wanted to come on here and get that message out to you guys and give you guys an update on what's been happening to me. Um, yeah, I'll be back here with some other videos concerning the other situation because I you know, want to be able to advocate for anyone out there that may have felt or, or feels anything that I felt before and I want you to, you know, get the test that you need or anything you need sooner than later because I'm so grateful that I did it sooner than later. And I think that's a lesson, like, I should have learned my lesson by now, right? Go to the doctor sooner than later. But I was trying to wait it out with the ear pain and I'm like, no, it's going to get better with the ibuprofen. I'm going to feel better. And with my natural, oh guys, yeah, I almost forgot before. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you my natural remedies that I've been taking. And I'm like, no, it's going to get better with all of that. It didn't get better. The pain just got worse. And I'm so glad I went to the emergency room yesterday. And now I know, at least I know now what happened. I got some antibiotics for that and it's going to be okay again we have to fight strong and be a warrior and a gladiator once again so yeah like just quickly guys some of the remedies natural home remedies that i've been taking that i feel has been helping me like soothing my body and my cells so in the morning i have minced garlic i'll take one clove I'll peel it, I'll cut it into pieces, and I'll drink it with warm water with lemon. So I've been doing that. And then I'll go ahead and I'll juice some celery, thanks to a friend of mine who told me that the celery is amazing. I knew this, but you know when you know something and then you don't do it unless someone tells you? Well, yeah, I started to do it because of her, so thanks, Alegna. I'm having the celery juice on an empty stomach after my garlic and water lemon, which is, you know, another home remedy that I found out from someone else. Um, and then, yeah, after that, then I'll just have, like, a healthy breakfast. And, of course, I'll have tea because tea is great for your body. You feel warm and good for yourselves, good for your body. These days, I'm all about the cells and the nutrients and all of that so yeah those natural home remedies i definitely recommend it it's great for you know if you're sick for example the garlic is great for that or night you don't even have to wait to have a cold you can just have it it's good for your body i'm not a doctor but i'm sharing with you guys my natural home remedies that i've been taking and i recommend them and yeah um and it's gonna be okay let's continue to fight strong even when we feel so down in a way like when you're in pain and things like that when you don't feel good but let's show up you know let's do the things that will make us feel better whether that's a shower that's taking our vitamins that's taking our natural home remedies let's get up an hour earlier make them um, and let's show up to where we have to be and the things that we need to do in our life. I showed up for you guys. <sighs> Even though I'm feeling like this, but, you know. 
just wanted to show you guys that no matter how we're feeling, it's okay to show up. Maybe not in all capacities, all the time, or every time, but in some capacity because we have to continue fighting. We have to continue fighting and we have to be strong. <sighs> There's more to come. I'll see you guys soon. And again, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe if you guys found any value to this video. And there's more to come. I'll be back again. Have an amazing day.